Angle A is a circumscribed angle on circle O. So this is angle A right over here. Then when they say it's a circumscribed angle, that means that the two sides of the angle are tangent to the circle. So AC is tangent to the circle at point C. AB is tangent to the circle at point B. What is the measure of angle A? Now I encourage you to pause the video now and to try this out on your own. And I'll give you a hint. A hint. It will leverage the fact that this is a circumscribed angle, as you could, as you could imagine. So I'm assuming you've given a go at it. So the other piece of information they give us is that angle D, which is an inscribed angle, is 48 degrees. And it, it intercepts the same arc. So this is the arc that it intercepts, arc CB, I guess you could call it. It intercepts this arc right over here. It's the inscribed angle. The central angle that, inscribes, that, that intersects that same arc is going to be twice the inscribed angle. So let's, this is going to be 96 degrees. I could put three markers here just because we've already used a double marker. The, notice, they both intercept arc CB. So you could, you could, some people would say the measure of arc CB is 96 degrees. The central angle is 96 degrees. The inscribed angle is going to be half of that, 48 degrees. So how does this help us? Well, a key clue is that angle is a circumscribed angle. So that means AC and AB are each tangent to the circle. Well, a, a, a line that is tangent to the circle is going to be perpendicular to the radius of the circle that intersects the, the circle at the same point. So this is this right over here. This right over here is going to be a 90 degree angle. And this right over here is going to be a 90 degree angle. OC is perpendicular to CA. OB, which is a radius, is perpendicular to BA, which is a tangent line. And they both intersect right over here at B. Now this might jump out at you. We have a quadrilateral going on here. A, B, O, C is a quadrilateral. So its sides are going to add up. Its sides are going to add up to 360 degrees. So we could know, we know, we could write it this way. We could write the measure of angle A plus 90 degrees, plus 90 degrees, plus another 90 degrees, plus another 90 degrees, plus 96 degrees plus 96 degrees is going to be equal to 360 degrees. It is going to be equal to 360 degrees. Or another way of thinking about it, if we subtract 180 from both sides, so if we subtract that from both sides, we get the measure of angle A plus 96 degrees, plus 96 degrees is going to be equal to is going to be equal to 180 degrees. Or another way of thinking about it is the measure of angle A, or that angle A and angle O right over here, you could call it angle COB, that these are going to be supplementary angles, that they add up to 180 degrees. So if we subtract 96 degrees from both sides, we get that the measure of angle A, measure of angle A is equal to, I don't want to make that look like a less than symbol, let me make it. Measure of angle, this one actually looks more like a measure of angle A is equal to 180 minus 96. Let's see, 180 minus 90 would be 90, and then we subtract another 6, gets us to 84 degrees.